What's up, guys? The Hackspot here, and today I'm here with a very, very exciting video. So, you Joe broke her device with Electra, and now you, we also have Cydia to install tweaks very easily. But what can you do with a Joe break? I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 tweaks that work with iOS 11. All right, so I'm so excited to bring you guys video, showing you guys exactly what you can do with a Joe break. Now, before I get started here, if her Cydia is crashing like this. Then, boom, there it is. So, you guys can see my shit city just keeps on crashing. That means you did reboot or restart your device or it died and you turned it back on. And now you have to rerun the Electra Jailbreak app. So, every time you restart your device or reboot it, this is a semi untethered jailbreak. So, you do have to go back to the Electra app and hit that jailbreak button again. All right. And awesome. So, now all your tweaks will start working again if you did to have any installed and Cydia will be working too. So anyways, for you guys who are new to joke breaking, all you have to do for this is go into Cydia first, and before you do anything, first go over to the changes tab right there, so the clock, and once over here, tap on refresh, and just go and wait for this. So we'll say reloading data, and if a pop-up comes up, or are there any upgrades, so you guys see up one upgrade right there, tap right there, and just upgrade everything. Otherwise, you may get some errors when installing tweaks. But anyways, to install tweaks, all you do is head over to the search, and search for the tweak that I'm going to be mentioning in this video. For example, cylinder, all you would have to do is tap on it, hit install, and over here just tap on confirm, and it will go over here, install the tweak real quick. And by the way, this annoying thing, animation, I'll be showing you guys that in my tweaks video too. This is one of the tweaks. But anyways, once you hit restart springboard, then your tweak should work. See how easy it is to install tweaks with Cydia, and there we go, now we're good to go. So the first tweak kicking off this list is nude keys, so, and there it is. So basically, you can change the color of your keyboard, and it looks really, really cool. So again, it takes effect throughout your entire keyboard, and it looks pretty awesome. I have a gradient going on, so on the top is green, and on the bottom is yellow. If you head over to the settings of this tweak, so head down over to nude keys, boom, there it is. First, you could do have to enable it, and over here, you can choose the top color, and also the bottom color, so choose Whatever you want, there are so many colors and so many options. And yeah, so if you want a completely red keyboard, you could do that. Red and black, gradient, you could do that too. Now, after you do make your changes, all you gotta do is tap on respring on the top left over there. It restart your device, and then you will see the changes take effect. Now, this next tweak is called Zeppelin. Now, you guys can see on my status bar right there, as opposed to saying my carrier name, it has a Batman symbol. So you can change it to whatever you want. There are also some more packages you can install in Cydia, so you can get a Pokemon Zeppelin package. But anyways, this is what comes with by default fault or stock so if you go ahead and tap on zeppelin you go to the theme right here make sure it's enabled and you can go ahead and change to whatever you want from here too so i got the apple and now it's the apple all right hold on i think i chose something else i've got the nike sign you can do the triforce pac-man and so many more being a huge zelda fan i do love the triforce so i'm gonna keep it at that now this next tweak is called shift cycle so basically if you go over to your notes or anywhere you have some text that you type in so i have some text right here and let's say you want to change the case on it so like the upper or lower case. So you go and select this whole thing. And now to change it as opposed to retyping the entire thing, all you gotta do is hit, hit the shift button. And you guys will see now it's all uppercase. I can tap on it again. And now it will go back down to lowercase. And now if I go tap on it again, I can make the first letter in every word capitalized, which is pretty cool too. And I can go back to normal just like that. So I don't have to retype the entire thing, which could save you a lot of time. All right, now this next tweak, you guys really have to install. It's very simple, but it makes your device feel so much better. So it's called haptic keyboard. So basically it brings vibrations to your keyboard, which is very, very cool. So every time you tap on a key, it just feels so nice, especially on the Taptic engine on the iPhones. Oh my gosh, it's such a pleasure to type. You guys really have to get this one and try it out for yourself. I can't really show you this because you really have to feel it, but on a normal iOS keyboard, you just tap on the button and it doesn't give you any response. But with this, every time you tap on a key, it has this nice response, it vibrates, and it gives you some haptic feedback. All right, now, what would this tweak list be without one of the OGs? So this is like barrel, except this one is called cylinder. So basically, if I go to swipe from page to page, you guys can see I have an animation and you can change it to whatever you want. So again, go over to settings, cylinder, and again, there's so many effects. I've showed this tweak off many times. I'm going to clear this. And let's just use one effect. So I'm going to do bubble. Let's see what that looks like. And now if I'm going to swipe over. You can see the icons kind of get a little bigger. And that one looks pretty cool too. Or let's go ahead and clear it again. And let's do emotion UI. See what that looks like. Oh, that one's pretty cool too. This next tweak is called dark messages. Now, just as the name implies, this will help you not kill your eyes. So I know many people text at night in the dark. So let's go ahead and go into the app now. And now there's a completely dark mode. You guys know that this app is like very, very white. It completely like 
oh, ah, it hurts your eyes in the dark, right? So with this tweak, it makes a dark mode for this. So it looks really cool, applies throughout the entire app. And I really love it. Gives a dark mode for your messages app. Now this next tweak is called Apario. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, but it's very, very useful, although it's simple. You guys will use this tweak a ton without even thinking about it. So you want your iPhone to charge faster. Well, with this tweak, every time you plug it in to a power source, it'll automatically enable low power mode so that your phone will charge faster. You don't have to go in and put your device in low power mode or airplane mode every time. With this, you simply just plug it in, don't have to worry about it, and your phone will charge a lot faster with this tweak because again, it does enable low power mode. And once you do unplug it, it'll just automatically exit at a low power mode. So you don't have to adjust that either. So definitely a helpful little tweak to charge your device faster and just get the most, most use out of it. Now this next tweak is also very useful. Why didn't Apple not implement this already? So if you go in and open the settings once you have this installed. Oh, and again, this tweak is called Bye Bye HUD. So that's the name. And over here in the settings, you do have to go and enable it before you go and use it. So enable it. And there's three views. So if I go and turn up and down my volume, you guys can see there's no longer an annoying volume HUD that takes some time to disappear. It's at the top and it's very un unobtrusive. So you guys can see exactly how many how much your volume's at if you're going up and down. It's in the top, so it's out of the way. You can also choose a view. So there's many more. There's a bar view and there's also the slider view. And that's what that one looks like. I think this one looks the best, in my opinion. So yeah, if you're viewing content, you don't have to worry about that volume HUD getting in the way, and you're just having to wait for it to disappear. Why does the Apple just put it at the top already? This next tweak is called Walmart. Now, if you get tired of wallpapers very quick like I do, this makes sure that you don't. So if you go into settings, go to the wall Walmart settings, go to tap on general and enable this tweak. So once it's enabled, you don't have to respring your device either. And over here, you can go to Walmart and change all these settings. So perspective zoom, you can enable that, disable that. You could make it show up on a lock screen or home screen, whichever one you want. Cycle settings, you could even have a time for when it cycles through, which is pretty cool. It's very extensive, guys. So if I go to interval and moments over here, I've set mine to 10 seconds. Let's just go and do five for this video. So I'm gonna set mine to five seconds. And there you go. Again, I have it enabled, enabled this too. And yeah, so basically now if I exit out of here, you guys see my wallpaper will change every five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, right now it's just going through all my photos inside my camera roll. Right now it's just going through car photos looks like. So again, one, two, three, four, five. It's gonna change again. And yeah, so yeah, you can just have a separate album for this and it's pretty quiet. Right now it's at two seconds, so it's going through every two seconds now. And again, this is through my entire camera roll. You can choose an album to make it better so it doesn't cycle through just everything. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. All right, now the last tweak, the one that you guys have all been waiting for, Snow overlay. So <laughs> yeah, guys, this is uh, just for looks, but it looks really cool. It doesn't drain like any battery at all. And just take a look at that. You get a snow animation all over your device. And it's really cool, but pretty cool. Look at this. I mean, I've got it snowing on my device. So, I mean, it shows up everywhere. So, even in the app store, this is like all white. So, it might not show as well. But anyways, uh, calculator app, again, camera. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I really do like how it looks. And yeah, so again, this one is called Snowverland. All right, guys. So, there you have it. Hope this gave you a good idea of what you could do with a jailbreak. And guys, go a little bit easy with the tweaks. Don't go too crazy. But anyways, hit that thumbs up button for more top tweaks videos if you guys did enjoy this and want to see more. This is the Hackspot, and peace out. Step on your